Kawanya ku waye All right, this is Kuri Mayo again. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that you're taking the journey with me still. So, we're here in Utah, Judah, Jehuda, Judah, Utah. As we saw in the last videos, the couple colored tribes were here. The Hebrew couple colored tribes were here. We saw how the Aztec and the Mayas had a Moses-like figure lead them to their promised land. We saw how there was the Decalogue stones in New Mexico and the Holy Newark stones as well in Ohio, showing evidence, early evidence, of the story of Moses. Could he have been here? The Aztecs and the Mayas write about it before the Spaniards were here. They already had that Exodus story. Could it have been here? We're going to take a look at this Bible verse. It's Deuteronomy 34. And it's going to show us something interesting here in Utah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for being here. Let's continue the journey. Alright, so pull out your Bibles if you want. This is Deuteronomy 34. The death of Moses, or Moses dies on Mount Nebo. And here we go. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the western sea, the south, and the plain of the valley. Of Jericho the city of palm trees as far as Sor. then the Lord sh said to him this is the land which I swore to give Abraham Isaac and Jacob saying I will give it to your descendants I've caused you to see it with your own eyes but you shall not cross over there all right so you see uh, this verse basically telling us you know how he's showing Moses the whole land of Judah right he showed him to, to the top of these two mountains all these towns the whole land of Judah Again, tribe of Judah, right? Utah, Judah. And Judah, the word, the way they say it in, in the Indian, the native Judah, and why? Etymology is basically Utah. As you can see, what is the difference? Tribe of Judah, Judah. There was no J's in um, Hebrew. So here we go. I'm looking for Moab, right? So they Moses went from the plains of Moab. And here's Moab. First thing that came up was in Utah. And this is Moab. I'm going to go ahead and get a satellite view. Go back to the verse. And again, then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo. Right? So Moab. Here it is. Again. And you can see it's... I'm going to zoom out, but it's... It's in the plain, it's not in the mountains, so it does fit the description so far. Moab in the plains of Moab, you can see. This is a plain. I'm going to back up a little bit more. And as you can see, it's desert. You know, I mean, it's a big city now. Probably a big city back then. Alright, so, uh, so he went from the plains of Moab, right? And now we're going to go ahead and uh, look for uh, the other part of the verse, which is, he went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo. Right? Mount Nebo. To the top of Pisgah. Could these two places be there as well in Utah? Let's see. Let's see. Let's look at the map. We're going to look for uh, Mount Nebo. Okay. First thing that comes up, Mount Nebo, Utah. All right? And now here it is. All right, so you can see from Moab to Nebo, um, it's not that far. I mean, if you're looking at it, uh, I mean, it's in the same state. I'm going to show you zoomed in here how far it is. Uh, just for fun, I put walking. 
Man, let me zoom in right here. Alright, as you can see, 205 miles, 70 hours. So did Moses walk all that? <laughs> so here's Mount Nebo again from Moab, as you can see. And yeah, 205 miles. But there it goes, the top of Mount Nebo. Mount Nebo, which is 12,000 feet high. Okay. So after Mount Nebo again, um, we have another mountain, another peak that he went to, which was Mount uh, Pisgah. So he says, from the plains of Moab to the top of Mount Nebo, over to Mount Pisgah, right? And um, we're going to go ahead and look for Mount Pisgah right now. Okay. Alright, Mount same type it right here so again from the plains of Moab to the top of uh, Mount Nebo into the top of Pisgah right Pisgah all right so we got Pisgah Utah it's here too as you can see it's spelled the same way and everything and we go around a little lake from Nebo go through the uh, mountain range along the mountain range and you reach um, Mount Pisgah which is very far as well All right, let's zoom in here and here's uh, Mount Pisgah again you guys can do this follow along Google on Google you can pause this and do it yourself you know so so far we got three locations alright we got three locations uh, we had Moab and now we have uh, right here Mount Nebo. Let me find it again. There, okay, some doubt. Here it goes. Mount Nebo. And we were coming from Moab, right? The plains over in, uh, to the right in the desert, over to Mount top of Mount Pisgah, right? All right. So I believe. Okay. Again. So. From there, which is uh, to the top of Pisgah, which is across Jericho, I said. So, Jericho. Let's see if we got Jericho over here. Alright. Alright, so here we got Jericho. Alright, so we did find Jericho from Mount Pisgah. You can do, it is kind of across. Just like the Bible describes it. All right, so then a
I find regarding Manasse, right? And it says, um, the history of Manasseh, Utah. Manasseh, San Pele, is located on the west side of Sampish River along the Sampish Mountains. On the east side is the flourishing town of Ephraim. Manasseh at one time consisted of 21 families. The town of Manasseh did not prosper like its sister city across the river, and the area is now used only for agricultural purposes. So you see it didn't wasn't able to last as a town, so it's not listed as a town uh, still, but it was at one point. Especially in Bible times, this was a long time ago, right? So we do have something here showing Manasseh, okay? Alright, so um, we're going to go back to the map here. And now, so again, then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, right? To the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead as far as Dan. And Naphtali in the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, the south, the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Sor. Then the Lord showed, uh, said to him, This is the land which I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have caused you to see it with your own eyes, but you shall not cross over there. Okay, so, all right, so what I'm going to show you now is uh, this guy right here. Uh, he put up this video and it's on YouTube. He actually went to Mount Nebo, right? So we're going to go ahead and show you this uh, climb because it helps with the senses. It helps give us perspective, orientation, so we can visually see what these, this place looks like, how high it is, and what maybe possibly and most likely Moses uh, climbed when they showed him all the land. All right. All right, so... Here we go, climbing up. And then you can see the terrain, how it is, all rocky. And, um, with these ancient trees, that's another topic. <laughs> but as you can see, it's pretty high. Once you reach almost to the top, it's around 12,000 feet, Mount Nebo. Right? It's definitely not an easy climb. But this guy's making it look easy. So Moses went from the plains of Moab onto the Mount Nebo. This is Mount Nebo. And he showed them all the land of Jericho.
all the way till it reaches the highest peak. And he said, this is for your descendants, the whole land of Judah, Utah. Mount Nebo, 12,000 feet above sea level. And you know, there is a Mount Nebo over by Jordan, Israel, over there. And I'm going to show you that right after this. I'm going to show you how small it is. It's not 12,000 feet like this. Look, you can see the whole land, whatever way you look. Mount Nebo over there in Israel, Jordan, is only 817 meters sea level. What can you see there? This is the whole land of Judah. This is high enough, 12,000 feet. Mount Nebo, Utah. Mount Nebo, Utah. And all the land of Judah, as far as the south, the plain, the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as the sword. Then the Lord said to him, This is the land which I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. All right. He's telling him, One more look. Can you not see the whole land of Judah, Utah, from Nebo? The whole land of Utah? Can you not see it from here? Every, whatever direction you look. The land of Utah, Utah, Jehuda, Utah. Alright, so we're going to continue here. Yeah, so as I was saying before about there being another Mount Nebo, so when you go to Google, it purposely, when you throw, when you look for Mount Nebo, it first thing it throws is Mount Nebo, the one over there, Jordan or Israel, right? Let's see, yeah, Jordan. Uh, here you see Mount Nebo. It's an elevated ridge in Jordan, approximately 817 meters above sea level. Alright, this is the one right here. Mentioned the Hebrew Bible as the place where the Moses was granted a view of the promised land. 817 meters. Okay. That's what they throw you. So it says here. I mean, he showed them the land of Gilead as far as Dan, as far as Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh. And all the land of Judah. Can you really see the whole land of Judah with 817 feet of height? I mean, look at the word Judah. It even means Utah. You know, Judah in the way with the Y. There's no J's in Hebrew. I mean, look, Judah, but it's spelled Jehuda with a Y. You know? So, 817 meters, you know, maybe. Like, sound, I guess it could be possible that it's high enough. But, I mean, how can you compare that with Mount Nebo? I mean, remember, look at this. You can see so much from up here. Look at the difference. It's not 817 uh, feet. You know, how could you see the whole land? I mean, let's let's look at Mount Nebo, Utah now. Yeah, go right into Wikipedia. All right. So it says here, Mount Nebo is the southernmost and highest mountain in the Wasatch Range of Utah in the United States, named after the biblical Mount Nebo overlooking Israel, which is said to be the place of Moses' death. We haven't talked about that, but yes, in the same verse, he dives in this area. And it also says that his tomb has not been found to this day. Let's continue. It is the centerpiece of Mount Nebo, wilderness inside Unita National Forest. Mount Nebo has two summits, with the north summit reaching 11,933 feet. So, Mount Nebo, 12,000 feet up. And as you can see, you can see a lot of land from here. It's definitely not 817 meters which is around 2,000 feet. It's a lot more than that, 10,000 feet higher. Okay, 10,000 feet higher. You can see the whole land from here, the whole land of Judah or Utah. Just look at the picture. All right, so.
So I'm just going to uh, show you some more uh, things in Utah. First, like some references of uh, biblical names here. Just a list here, just to go back. And then I'm going to show you some pictures of Sign National Park, Ar Arches National Park, and you know what's over here in Utah, so just so you can get an idea before we uh, end the video. All right. All right, list of biblical names in Utah. So this is a list of names whose biblical origin was confirmed by Moshe Davis, right? And it says here, Eden, Weber, Ephraim, San Peter, Goshen, Utah, Jordan, is there Salt Lake, Mount Carmel, Cain, North Eden Canyon, Rich Zion Canyon, Washington, Zion National Park, Washington. Uh, names of biblical origin not confirmed by Moshe Davis. We have Benjamin, Enoch, Joseph, Levon, Moa, Providence, and of course Salem. And that would be for uh, Jerusalem, of course. So we have all these names in uh, Utah as well, corroborating, you know, with what we have in the Bible there, right? So those names are also in that verse. And it continues here, tribal associations of above uh, names in Utah, right? It says, Eden, all Israel, Manasseh, Ephraim, Ephraim, Goshen, all Israel, Joseph, Jordan, all Israel, Manasseh, Mount Carmen, it's Manasseh, North Eden Canyon, all Israel, and Manasseh, Zion Canyon, all Israel, and Judah. Zion National Park, all Israel and Judah. Benjamin, uh, of course, Benjamin. Enoch, all Israel. Joseph, of course, Joseph. Levon is Levi. Moab, Reuben, Judah. Some of whom may have settled in Moab. Uh, 1 Chronicles uh, 4.22. See the tribes, it says. Providence, all Israel. Salem, of course, again, equals Jerusalem, all Israel. And it says, conclusion, based on the name studied only in Utah, it's populated by a mixture of the Israelite tribes dominated by Joseph, especially Manasseh. Okay, so they've concluded that these are the main two tribes there, uh, based on the etymology of all these towns and the words. So it says, CR note, Brit M now, 427, item 5, query concerning the pertinence of U.S. biblical place names, identical twin studies. The names in themselves do not necessarily prove anything unless taken in conjunction with other evidence. And after... The other evidence has been accepted. Alright, so what other evidence do we have? If we've watched the other videos, we've seen that we know there's a Hebrew Jewish presence in America. When the colonizers, when the Spaniards, when the Europeans arrived, and it was a, a topic of interest during those times by scholarly Jews, prominent Jews. Okay? So just go back to the other videos. So this is. Uh, the Moses Tower, Moses Rock, Canyonlands, Utah. You can see the formation. You know, anybody knows about the ancient trees. And you can see the other rock here on the right. Is this the rock that Moses split to get the water? Hmm, could be. So I'm just going to show you a couple pictures of uh, Zion National Park. So you can see how beautiful it is. What's over there in Utah? There's a lot of parks over there. A lot of empty land. A lot of land that was taken. That is in trust bonds. Right now. Sion National Park. Look how big it is. Zion National Park. Zion National Park. So I'm just going to show you uh, this other park. It's called Arches National Park. This is it right here. It has these uh, interesting formations in all over the park. That's why it's called Arches. A bunch of arches all over. You know, I have a lot of theories about them, but there's definitely some strange formations over there. This park also had something. As you can see in this picture, this uh, monument on the right to me looks like at the bottom of a building. It looks like a megalith to me. 
you know as you can see even has almost things on the wall like it had some kind of designs to it all right I don't know you tell me and uh, this is uh, it says Sunset and Garden of Eden Arches National Park Garden of Eden yes there's a Garden of Eden inside Arches National Park why do they call it that look at the formations look at these strange formations balance rock Arches National Park Look at the rock, how it's balancing on top of that. Is that natural? They say it is. It don't look natural to me. And again, Garden of Eden, Arches National Park. And you know. This is again, a national park. It says Balance Rock, Garden of Eden. The Double Arch. It says, look how big it is. A lot of things up there. Northwest of Eden is the Devil's Garden, Arches National Park. So there's a Devil's Garden as well, next to Garden of Eden. Hmm. Just like the story of Garden of Eden with Devil invades, right? Look at this arch. Looks like bridges almost they walked over. And this building right here. And it just to me looks like a building. All right. And. Again, just before I end the video, just wanted to go back to the verse that we, you know, that this whole video is based upon. Deuteronomy 34, 1 to 12. Here we go again. The death of Moses. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite of Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead, as far as Dan, all Naphtali the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the western sea, the Nigello and the plain, that is the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Sor. And the Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I will give it to you. I will give it to your offspring. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not go over there. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. Okay, so look where he died. And he buried in the and he buried him in the valley, in the land of Moab, opposite of Beth Peor. But listen to this. But no one knows this the place of his burial to this day. No one knows the place of his burial to this day. Okay. Could it be maybe because they're looking on the wrong place? I don't know. You tell me. So let's continue. It says, Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes was undimmed and his vigor unabated. And the people of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days. Then the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of spirit of wisdom. For Moses has had laid his hands on him. So the people of Israel obeyed him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. And there has not arisen a prophet since in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. None like him for all the signs and the wonders that the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. And for all the mighty power and all the great deeds of terror that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. Deuteronomy 34, the death of Moses. And again, just want to emphasize, there was none arisen again a prophet since in Israel like Moses. Okay? Remember the Old Testament. Don't have no other gods before me. Don't worship any idols. Okay. There's no Old Testament, it's the law. It means Torah means the law. There's nothing old about it. And there has not arisen a prophet since in Israel like Moses. I'm glad you watched this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, blessings to you and your family. Looking forward to coming up with more videos. I hope you keep watching, keep following on this journey. Know yourself something bigger on this side of the world biblical 
Old Testament places? Could it have been on this side? Egypt, Babylon, all of that on this side? Strong possibility. Just let's go on the journey. <laughs>